okay so the next section that we are going to discuss over here is called as our properties window or properties area now dependent upon your scene what is selected and other things you will see different things over here but by default you have the list of these tabs over here so from where you can set different things relating to different aspects like from here you can set something about the tool here we can set the rendering engine and other things like EV is the default rendering engine you could select to work paint cycles and all something like that and so many other things relating to your environment can be set like for example this is let me show you what we can do over here is if we go to rendered mode over here okay so the light is there there is a bloom effect that can be added to the light if you notice we can add a bloom effect and we can increase or decrease the effect of bloom fine so this is one of the settings for example i am showing you a lot of other settings are there which we will see in due course of time as and when required as i keep on mentioning then this is the output settings you can see then when you render and all how the output should come what should be the format and all this is view layer settings this is your settings relating to the scene and so on then this is a environment setting you have a world setup over here so that is the environment setting what should be the background color and all then this is the setting for your collections which we have made settings for the selected object like if we select the object then you will notice its settings so you can do minor adjustments for location rotation and other things and lot of other aspects are there then we have something called as modifiers which help us get certain complicated work done very fast lot of modifiers are there we'll also see these in due course of time then this is a particle physics setting which you can set if you're trying to set up some physics based stuff so this is physics setup for an object like if you want to drop a ball and how it would react or how it should fall down those settings can be done from here you can do a cloth simulation and other things physics based stuff can be set from here then we can set certain constraints on the object like suppose while resizing your object you just want to make sure the volume of the object remains same right like if you're making a bouncing ball or something so when the ball hits the ground it will flatten so when you flatten it while resizing you want to make sure the volume remains same those kind of constraints we can set up from here then this is object data related stuff this is where we can set up new materials colors and other things for our objects and this is the texture area so a lot of stuff is there don't need to be overwhelmed with this as and when required we will see the things you don't need to get to remember each and every part of it whenever we are doing some kind of work or animation or modeling as per requirement we will look into which part can be used where and how it will be useful so this is our properties section